Namaste guys, Rajesh here. So in one of the recent nightlies, the Cyanogen Mod team replaced their USB based camera app with Snap Camera, which is based on the Snapdragon camera app from Qualcomm. So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick look at the app and all the features that it offers. Now you'll find Snap Camera installed on all Cyanogen Mod nightlies that were released on or after 10th of January 2016. The app is still named Camera and it is only when you open it that you will see the new UI and other changes that it offers. As they don't say, it's a new wine in an old package. So the interface of the app is pretty simple. You have the shutter button on the right with the button above it allowing you to toggle between various camera modes. The other two modes include a video mode and a panorama mode. At the bottom you get a small preview of the last photo that you have taken with the button also acting as a quick shortcut to the gallery app. On the left hand side the first button at the top provides you with access to some advanced camera settings. This includes the ability to toggle flash mode, change the picture size, the picture quality, storage location of the photos, face detection, white balance, exposure, power shutter and so on. The button below it allows you to switch to the front camera while this button allows you to apply filters before you shoot a picture. The last button on the left hand side sidebar provides you with access to a bunch of scenes and selecting any of them will give you a live preview of how the image will look like, which is pretty handy if you ask me. Switching over to video mode, snap camera at least on the Nexus 5 only allows you to record videos in up to full HD resolution and it does not offer any option to record videos in slow motion. Now in terms of functionality, Snap Camera does not allow you to shoot pictures in RAW, change the shutter speed, control the ISO levels, but in terms of performance, it is significantly faster than the Google Camera and the CyanogenMod AOSP Camera app, which makes it worth using if you ask me. So yeah guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching it. Do hit the like button below if you liked it and subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so.